This print uh, is uh, from 1967 and it was created by Sister Corita. Sister Corita was an incredible uh, person and artist. She was a nun, uh, part of uh, the Congregation of the Immaculate Art of Mary uh, that was based in Los Angeles and uh, that was a very progressive, uh, progressist uh, congregation. Uh, she was born in uh, 1918 and uh, in parallel to her uh, religious uh, commitment she trained as an artist and she finally became a teacher in the art college of the Immaculate Art of Mary. And uh, Sister Corita uh, discovered in uh, 1962 the exhibition of Andy Warhol at uh, the Ferris Gallery in Los Angeles at that time, he was presenting the famous Campbell soup. For Sister Corita, it was really a positive shock, a aesthetic shock. And uh, from that time, she started to embrace the pop culture of the time, uh, playing with the signs of the modern society, such as ads, magazines, uh, pop music, but also billboards in the streets and uh, on the uh, shops and she mixed all those vocabularies to play with words and to play with messages uh, that were conveying uh, her vision of a modern society. She was really committed in different uh, fields. She was uh, supporting the feminist movement, supporting also uh, the claim for the Afro-American people for more equality. And she was also a huge promoter of peace. At that time, the uh, United States were uh, committed in the Vietnam War uh, since uh, 1955 in the South Vietnam and uh, 1964 in North Vietnam. And um, Sister Corita multiplied the prints uh, conveying the words peace and this message uh, claiming for uh, the end of the war. She did uh, this in uh, Christmas 1965, uh, especially at IBM in uh, New York, and uh, she did a display with different boxes uh, repeating the same word, peace. At that time, this was considered as a kind of anti-patriotic uh, uh, gesture, and she was really criticized for that, but also supported by all the people who were in favor of the end of the war. In 1967, she imagined this beautiful print uh, with bright colors, and you can really see this message, make love, not war, that was used a lot at this time by the pro-pacifist movements, but also by the uh, beginning of the hippie culture. But this uh, message is also deeply related to the Catholic tradition and to the message of the Bible. And this is the unique uh, artistic vocabulary and uh, commitment of Sister Corita. This combination between uh, the modern culture and the modern uh, commitment to the world and her own uh, commitment as a Catholic person. You can see also this yellow submarine that is uh, related, of course, to the pop song of the Beatles. Here you can see the sign, uh, recognizable, uh, imagined to uh, embody peace. And here flowers that are uh, really uh, growing out of this submarine. So um, it's also uh, play with the famous pop song uh, saying that we are all living in this yellow submarine, all sharing the same word and repeating this message of peace. So this was very uh, unusual for that time and the same year for uh, the Christmas uh, edition, Newsweek decided to uh, dedicate its front cover to uh, Sister Corita and put the title None goes modern.